this is code.org. We have our game here, right? If you don't have this, you need to go to the other parts of the lesson. Let's see what we're working on. Randomize enemy speed. Use random numbers to make some enemies faster or slower. Do this. Create two new variables to store the speed of enemy one and enemy two. Set the velocity of the two enemies using two speed variables. When you create each enemy, generate a random number. Okay, set the velocity to enemies using create two new variables, speed of enemy one. Okay, so we need variables. I'll head over here and I'm going to create a variable right up here. And I'll say uh, speed of enemy one, I'll call it speed one. It might be better to call it enemy one speed. It's a bit more clear. Okay. Uh, and then speed of enemy two, I'll do the same here. Enemy two speed. Set the velocity of the two enemies using two separate variables. So now I can start it off with a number here, but I'm going to want to set. Um, I'm gonna. I'll default this to one. It's kind of up to you. I could actually declare these without anything over here because we're gonna we're gonna give them a speed in just a second. But okay, sure, we'll set that to one, right? I can also just do this. Boom. Because I don't need an equal sign, and maybe I will. Either way works, but this is technically uh, a better solution. So we don't actually have it given in a number here. Set the velocity of the two enemies using two separate speed variables. All right, now I don't want to do it just up here, because if I do, right, set velocity right here. If I do, I'm going to do a random number, sure is equal to technical difficulties. I could do this, but what's going to occur is it's only going to set the speed once, and then that will be at speed forever. So here I have enemy speed. I'm going to go down, down, down here to player one velocity. So player one velocity x, enemy one speed, boom. Oh, sometimes it does this. I'm going to hit show text. I'll hit run and now it will work. I'm going to refresh the whole thing and now we'll be fine. All right, run. Now notice how fast it's going, but it always will stay the same exact speed. And that's not really what we want. That's also way too fast. And so that's why I'm saying, let's go ahead and not have a speed at first. And inside of set enemy, we can declare that speed. So if you want one random speed for the whole game, that's fine. However, what I'm going to do is inside of set enemy, I'll pick a speed. So then I'm going to go down here to set enemy and randomize the function we or the variable we just made. This is worded strangely, but I'm going to go with it and then I'll show you another solution. So I'm going to go ahead then and take my variable that we just made. And the reason I want to do it down here is because this is what actually gets run when the enemy appears on the other side of the screen. So now I have my enemy one speed speed variable like that. And now I'll do my random number inside of this. And one to 10 was way too fast. I'll try one to five. Keep in mind though, we still haven't actually set the enemy speed. We can do it now up here because we run set enemy speed first, right? So we run set enemy one. Now enemy one speed will be defined. So this will still work, but we're only going to be setting it once. And that's why I'm finding this strange that they asked for a variable. All right, so let me show you a solution that's kind of confusing, but follows exactly what they're saying. And then I'll show you something else. So there, they said uh, variable store speed of enemy one and two. We have a variable speed one, right? And then what I would want to do is change up the actual velocity of our sprite within this, because then every time we use set enemy, it will change it. So enemy one dot velocity equals enemy one speed, right? So now every time it resets, we'll randomize this variable. And then we say the, the speed is equal to that variable, right? And so it does say to use a variable. What I find confusing about that is it's not necessary. 
right? Why not just do this exact uh, directly? And that is what I will do. Enemy one's velocity. I'm randomizing it every time we set the enemy. Therefore, I won't be needed needing either of these at the top. Just doesn't make sense. And then now this is redundant. I don't need to set the enemy velocity there because I do it inside of set enemy. And I'm about to add it to enemy two as well. So we can get rid of that code. And now we get to suddenly randomize our enemy's speed anywhere on uh, anywhere, anytime they are reset. And think about this. If we didn't have these functions, I would have to go to like four different places when the enemy falls off, when they touch the cake, when the game starts to make it so the enemy's X velocity randomly changes. Since we do have functions, I can change one thing and everywhere in the game suddenly has exactly what I would like it to. And they're moving at a different speed. Ah, die. Pretty. Oh, no. Ah, whoa. Cool. I'm not good at this game. Onward.